Hi everyone! So welcome to another one of our bedtime stories. So for those of you that don't know me, I'm Sarah from Tiny Talk Durham and welcome to another one of our bedtime stories. So the book that we're going to do tonight, it follows straight on from the one that we done last and we're going to do <gasps> what the ladybird heard next. So this book is published by Macmillan and I have fair use permission from them to read this book so a big thank you to them. So it's written by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Lydia Monks um, and I hope you all enjoy it. So shall we get started? So we've got what the ladybird heard next. So once upon a farm lived a ladybird and these are the things that she saw and she heard. There was a cow in her shed and a horse in his stall and there look up the cats who purred on the garden wall. A barn full of straw and a field full of sheep and the kennel where the dog lay fast asleep we've got the fish in the pond and the drake and the duck a hive of bees and a heap of muck oh, in his sty and the goose in her pen and the coop which was home to the fat red hen now the fat red hen with her thin brown legs laid lots and lots of speckled eggs but then oh help oh no oh dear <gasps> those eggs those eggs they began to disappear each morning all the eggs oh, they'd gone they'd all gone and the animals asked what's going on I'll find out, said the ladybird. So she flew and she flew and she flew. Oh, and she heard. Oh, I wonder what did she hear? So she saw two men in a big black van. Oh, with a torch and a sack and a cunning plan. They were hefty Hugh and lanky Len who had been to jail but were back out again. Said lanky Len to hefty Hugh Let's steal another egg or two. But hefty Hugh said no. Oh, Listen then, I vote we steal the fat red hen. <gasps> we'll make our way to the chicken coop <gasps> and scoop her up in one fell swoop. <gasps> Just think of all the eggs she'll lay us and all the money that folk will pay us. <gasps> and Len replied, We'll soon be rich. Oh, it makes my fingers start to itch. Oh, they are bad men. The little spotty ladybird told the animals what she had heard. <gasps> Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len are planning to steal the fat red hen. 
And all of the animals, they look shocked, don't they? <gasps> and the cow there, <gasps> it looks like he could have used the potty. <gasps> then the cow said moo. And the hen said cluck. And said the goose. And quack, said the duck. Nay, said the horse, and said the hog, and ba, said the sheep, and woof, said the dog, and the two cats meowed, meow, them two bad men, we can't let them steal their fat red hen, but the ladybird said, oh, listen, quick, I've thought of a really clever trick. Oh, I wonder what she's thought of. Oh. At the dead of night, the two bad men opened the coop and they snatched the hen. But their fat red hen began to cluck. Why don't you steal the downy duck? Eggs are bigger far than mine, and people say they taste divine. Mm, yum, yum. <gasps> Good thinking that, said Lanky Len. They tipped all to the pond, but then. <gasps> the downy duck began to quack, quack, quack. Oh, please. Don't put me in your sack. Why don't you steal the goose instead? She's bigger still and better fed. Her eggs are huge and they're tasty too. Yum, yum. Good thinking that, said Hefty Hugh. But when they tried to seize the goose, she hissed at them, I'm not much use. Why don't you steal that great big bird? The super duper snuggly snared. Oh, wow, can you see that there? Come look. What? said Len. And who? said Hugh. The goose replied, I thought you knew. She lays the biggest eggs of all. Each one looks like a rugby ball. Oh, you see the big egg. The duck joined in. She's friendly too. I'm sure she'd love, she'd absolutely love to live with you. She'll put an end to all your cares. You'll very soon be millionaires. Where is the snared? Asked Lanky Len. Not far away, chirped in the hen. She lives inside that big brown heap. You'll find her there. She's fast asleep. See the hog ah, looking at what they're doing. Oh, and there, look, there's a little mouse. The two thieves laughed. <laughs> We've got it made. Let's take it in turns with the farmer's spade. They dug and dug. And Len said, Boo! It stinks! And Hugh said, So do you. And Len said, Where's that giant bird? The super duper snuggly snurred. She's rather shy, the goose replied. She must be hiding deep inside. So 
So they dug a tunnel nice and deep. That's it, said Hugh. Now in we creep. <gasps> I think we're nearly there, said Len. This Ned will soon be ours. <gasps> but then... <gasps> the heat collapsed and Hugh said, Yuck! We're covered head to toe in muck. They were very dirty, weren't they? <gasps> and Len complained, There is no snud. They just made up that giant bird. The animals tricked them. <sighs> then the other animals gathered round and all let out a deafening sound. Nay! Woof, woof, meow. What a racket, what a racket it is, and what a row. The farmer woke and said, oh, goodness me, and he had a word with his prize queen bee. And the bees chased after the two bad men who never came back to the farm again. Then the cow said moo and the hen said cluck. said the goose and quack said the duck. Nay said the horse and said the hog. Bah, said the sheep. And woof, said the dog. And the farmer cheered, yay! And both cats paired. But the ladybird said never a word. <gasps> and neither did the snuggly snared. Shh. Good night, tiny talkers. Bye.